Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to, for the final time, another episode of EDC. No, the show is not ending, but the name has changed of the channel and so the question mark is going away. Uh, the symbol didn't work in finding my channel on YouTube. The question mark symbol made it look like you were asking a question as opposed to using a name. So we have switched that to a Q. So that will be the final time you hear me say EDC and my question mark symbol. It was a fun ride with that, but we have moved on. The channel has grown. The name has not changed, but changed in symbols. And so next time you will get a new greeting from me. But I have an awesome episode for you today. I have a pocket dump. Want to know what I've been carrying this past week and the new item I am carrying that has uh, had me change up the way I carry it? Come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So yes, we are now EDCQ, uh, Q as in question mark, but it is actually searchable as opposed to the question mark symbol itself, which is not. So same channel, same people, same great gear, same great stuff. Hopefully quality of video is getting better as is the sound. Got a new mic I'm rocking today. Definitely let me know if there's a problem with this. Hopefully the sound is uh, getting better and improving and a pocket dump for you guys and gals. I have been on um, over the last several weeks. I've had a few weeks away and so I'm finally back and settled and I'm here for the long haul. Next vacation is summertime. So I feel like I'm refocused, rejuvenated and ready to give you guys the best that I can. And that is starting out with a awesome pocket dump. Now, a lot of my gear is the same as you will see, but right here in front of me on my table, I have a new piece of gear um, and it's got a new setup that it is in. So I'm super excited to show you that. But first, let's talk what's on my arms. My Wonder Woman bands, as always. I am rocking my uh, Casio Pro Trek, uh, which I love, great watch. Uh, it has the compass, the barometer, the altimeter, along with, um, you know, a stopwatch, the clock, the time zones, the day, the date, all of that, uh, as well as a light on it. And then my other, my other wrist is rocking a fitness tracker. Uh, that is the Fitbit Sense 2. Yes, it is redundant. No, I don't care. This is how I run my watches and I like it. I like a fitness tracker for the things that the fitness tracker does. I like keeping track of heart rate, um, calories, steps, all of that jazz, but I like a traditional watch. So I use both and that's how I roll. Maybe it's your jam, maybe it's not, but either way, rock on with what you put on your wrist. Now uh, in my front pocket, I have my Listerine breath strips as per usual. I have uh, some random items in here. All right, so we've got my coins as usual as well, and my 20 sided die, um, still rocking that. Excellent little toy for the two year old when he needs something. And I also have a variety of Tootsie Roll fruit chews. Um, we are hardcore in potty training mode, yay! And that means we have candy around for celebrations of using the potty and not a diaper. Welcome to toddler life, folks. No, this is not a parenting channel. No, I will not turn into one. Yes, I will stop carrying the Tootsie Roll fruit chews as soon as we are out of this phase of life, unless it becomes a vital EDC item, at which point I will continue to carry fruit chews. Although I will find a better way to carry them if I end up eating them, because they're definitely getting squished and misshapen in the pocket, and it's not even summertime yet. So we'll see what happens with that, but yay, new phases. Um, in my right lower leg pocket, I am rocking the uh, mod that I did. This is my own personal knife. Uh, there's probably not another one exactly like this in the world, maybe at all. Um, this is the Victorinox Compact, has the scissors, which I adore. If you've watched the channel for any length of time, you know 
that scissors are one of my favorite EDC items and Victorinox does them like nobody else. It has a large blade, it has a can opener, bottle opener, wire stripper, yada yada. It comes with the um, parcel hook. And then the reason that it is my mod is I took off the corkscrew and put a Phillips screwdriver on it. So that's my knife right there. And then I switched out the standard red Victorinox scales for some cool micarta ones with a little glow dot, has a pocket clip on it. And my toothpick and tweezers are actually blue. And I like showing the toothpick because the whole thing is blue. So I, I made this, I absolutely love it. It is always in my pocket. I mean, even at the beach, I was carrying this in my pocket, which might not be the best idea getting sand in all the parts and places, but it was carried and I love it. And there you go. And also in this pocket uh, with the pocket knife is my mini Bic uh, wrapped in Gorilla Tape and it still works. And I still have not put it to practical use although we are getting into summertime, so perhaps some bonfires will be lit. Uh, in my left-hand front pocket, I am still rocking my beloved Axwell wallet. Absolutely love this. Uh, use the code EDC um, and you will save 10% on this wallet. I've never been a front pocket wallet person. I've always been a lanyard around my neck wallet person and I'm not wearing a lanyard and I'm using this and I love it has the ability to have cash on the back uh, in a strap or a uh, or a buckle, uh, the, um, the clip, the cash clip. Uh, or you can have both. You can actually put the clip on the front side and have the strap on the back side, or you can take the strap off and just have plain metal on both sides. So really customizable. Absolutely love that. You get the uh, just the aluminum and you get the uh, strap as well as the clip so you can customize this however works for you and is functional for you. And like I said, 10% off with the code EDC, hard to beat that, highly recommend it. Come in tons of colors and materials. So check it out, pick your flavor and rock and roll. Uh, inside of my zippered pocket on the left side, I have my Pixel Buds A-Series love these they work great uh i've actually i uh, i've kind of always kept these as my nicer ones these and my airpods but i'm actually even using them to cut grass now so they are venturing into the everyday world uh and the hard use world i have a little bit of cash in my back pocket no hank in my other pocket it's actually being washed right now and i have more sitting right over here in my office i just haven't grabbed them so i need to pop another one of those in my pocket and that is what I have on me, guys and gals, but that's not the meat and potatoes of this because I do have my Victorinox knife, but if you know me, you know one knife is not all I am carrying. So I don't have a pocket knife aside from the Victorinox. I don't have a flashlight. I don't have a pen. And what am I carrying? I am so glad you asked, guys and gals. I am carrying the Rat Model 1 uh, I picked up this knife at a Bass Pro Shops in Myrtle Beach, and that's a knife, guys. <laughs> Check that out. That is a knife. I love my Rat Ones. I have a Rat One uh, not hanging right behind me. It used to be hanging right behind me. I have a Rat One in brown right here, and then I actually have my Rat Two in orange right here so i really do love the rat family and this uh od green and stainless model i just picked up and it is very large as you could tell a full four finger grip i could honestly probably get like six or seven fingers on the handle of this knife but excellent knife it is large it is in charge and i love it super smooth action uh, you can open it one hand with just the thumb stud very slowly and non aggressively, or you can definitely do the flick. And I actually haven't tried a back flick, so let's see here. Ah, there we go. So, uh, excellent knife, really do like it. The Rat family is also awesome. They are definitely budget friendly. If you haven't checked out the Rat models, please do. Uh, the Rat 2 is the little brother 
to the rat one as you can tell right there a significant size difference so rat two rat one both excellent uh check them out and that's what i've been carrying inside of my sheath i'm going to replace that and show you how the whole kit looks together but i'm going to reveal the items you know before i reveal the sheath and the item you don't know so next i have my everyman grafton pen you guys have seen this uh, this is the red variation and inside of here i have a blue pilot v5 refill absolutely love those refills love the pilot v5 pins love the refills and really dig this everyman pen and the flashlight of choice in this setup oh, and i'm giving you glimpse, glances of it aren't i the flashlight i chose for this is the through night archer pro excellent flashlight this is the one that when you turn on it has memory mode so it comes back on where you left it and then you hold it down and currently it is getting smaller and now it's at the lowest light setting it offers and then you hold it down again and it is now ramping up to the brightest setting and you can literally stop it wherever you want and that is where it'll come on so indefinite options from once you find your moon your low mode and your high mode you can literally stop it wherever you want in there and that will be the brightness level you have love that light it is fabulous so now i'm going to remove the new item and i'm going to show you the sheath and then i will introduce the item all right so this is my new sheath i have now one of my favorite ways to carry my edc gear is this right here i love my leather belt sheath i carry a flashlight i carry a pen and i slide a knife or multi-tool right there and it threads through your belt and you're ready to rock and roll with your stuff relatively out of the way so this is my new one same general setup knife pen flashlight but it has this loop right here for the extra item it has a keeper on this side has this thing down here which is actually uh, for a tape measure. I don't use that at all. I might actually clip that off at some point, but I mean, it's there if you need it. And then this one on the back, you can see it has an extra loop. So you would thread your belt through here, through there, and through there. So it actually keeps it from pulling away from you. Um, my other one doesn't have this loop. I never noticed that a problem, but I do notice this one stays very tight to you as opposed to kind of bowing out. This, this extra loop does help with that. And then the thing that I keep right here is my brand new item that I love, and it is the Leatherman Raptor. So it has a pocket clip on it, which is how it slides right in here. It just slides right there, and the pocket clip goes over, and you can actually see the indents from where that pocket clip has been sitting. But you open it up, and you have a pair of shears. Now, yes, these are shears, but these are also excellent excellent scissors these might be some of the best scissors that i have and uh, along with this you have see where it is you have a uh, ring cutter so you can actually snip a ring off of someone if you needed to if that were a problem um, it has a pocket clip as i said has a glass breaker on the end has a well i'll do this where you can see it has a seat belt cutter on the side and I feel like it should have a bottle opener because everything in the world nowadays comes with a bottle opener and that would be hilarious if this actually did not so yeah it might actually not come with a bottle opener um, but you get just about everything else that you could ever imagine and I don't know why it took me so long to jump on the Leatherman Raptor bandwagon because as I said earlier, and if you've watched any of my videos, you definitely know, I love scissors. Scissors are a great way to cut stuff without busting out a knife or using a knife and potentially injuring a wild and rambunctious two-year-old boy. So scissors have become a staple in my EDC, and this is actually an awesome way to carry them. I obviously got the stainless uh, model with the tan handles. I love Coyote Tan, it's one of my favorite colors. So I was stoked to get this and I am actually surprised at how much I love these. I got, the, uh, I got this sheath 
to carry it in my EDC, but I also have, and it must still be upstairs. Um, no, it's not, it's right here. I also got the uh, Leatherman holster to carry this in. So, let's see if I figure out which way it goes. So I can pop it in this Kydex holster and put that over my belt, which is how I will carry it a lot. And this pops out super easy, slides out, slides in, and you can hear it when it when it, you take it out, but you can also hear it when it engages. So you know that it's in. Whereas with this leather one, it does work well and it looks nice and it allows me to incorporate other bits of my EDC, but it is work to get this thing in there. Like it, it takes a lot of effort to get the uh, Leatherman Raptor in there. Once it's in, it is most definitely in and not going anywhere but it takes a minute to get it in and there we go so a nice slim sleek package to wear right here on my side kind of at four or five o'clock um kind of right there's where i rock it but absolutely love this love the leatherman raptor whether it's in this leather sheath whether it's on the kydex or whether i actually just have it pocket clipped uh, in my pocket that is an awesome piece of gear and I actually think I might get, uh, like I'm, it might go back and forth between my EDC bag and on person, or I might get a second one for my EDC bag just because of how much I love that. But dudes, that has been my carry for this past week and kind of off and on a little bit more. So let me know what you think. What have you carried this past week? And I will be back with a new video later on with some cool gear ready to show you as a newly branded channel. So thank you for watching the final episode of EDC and be ready for the new name that I will introduce on my next video. Guys and gals, I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you, but I would appreciate it if you did both. Definitely comment below and let me know what you thought of the video, how the audio is, and what you carried this past week. And I will be back with new content soon. Thanks so much and remember, EDC. EDC.